There are two Eids or feast days in the Islamic calendar that are regarded to be of particular significance and Eid al-Adha is considered the holier of the two. Its spiritual aspect is of primary importance but it's also a celebration. And with Eid al-Adha coming up this week, Zainab and Fatima Parak have prepared a special menu for the occasion. Welcome back. I'm Chef Fatima and this is my sister Chef Zainab and today we're going to be making a traditional home-cooked meal for the festival of Eid. Eid al-Adha is the second of two Eids. It's a festival of sacrifice. Muslims all over the world sacrifice an animal in obedience to God. On today's menu we have a traditional lamb biryani, soji and a saucy chicken. Let's start with the biryani. I will marinate the meat and Fatih, can you boil the rice and the masoor? Masoor is also known as lentils and I've pre-soaked this overnight so that it plumps up the lentils and allows for even cooking and a much better consistency. Just going to take the lentils and pour it into my salted boiling water so that it will continue the boiling process. So I'm scraping all of them in. My grandma always said never to skip a grain because you never know which one is full of blessings. So I'm going to listen to her today. I'm just going to give it a bit of a stir. To the salted boiling water, we're adding in the ilachi, which gives the rice a really nice flavor. And now for adding the rice. Now just giving this a nice quick stir. Let's start off with marinating the meat. I've added in the mint leaves. I'm going to add in three teaspoons of chili powder, ginger garlic, two teaspoons of cumin powder, a teaspoon of aniseed, fresh lemon juice, some turmeric. We've got two tablespoons of tomato puree and salt to taste. Then we're gonna take our chilies and you're actually just going to cut it slightly just so that the flavor comes through. We're going to do that with each one. Next, we're going to add in half a cup of oil and a cup of yogurt. And this is my favorite. Two handfuls of fried onions. You may need to add a bit more after you've tasted it. I'm going to mix this up. So I've used leg of lamb slices. I think this cut of meat is really nice for biryani. It cooks really well. Let's taste for some seasoning. Hmm, that's nice. The rice is ready. I'm just going to remove it off the heat and strain it. Let's empty the rice. Let's strain the masoor. I'm going to begin layering the biryani now. The potatoes have been deep fried with a bit of turmeric and the eggs have been boiled and I'll just start peeling them. So let's start by adding a little bit of butter and oil to the base of your pot. You want to add a bit of both so that it doesn't burn at the bottom. Next we're going to add a handful of rice to protect the meat at the bottom. Next we add in our meat. This is so much easier if I just use my hands. We're going to make sure that your meat is flat at the bottom of the pot and we're going to put in some mint. I like to push it right in. Let's add our masoor to the masala and let's spread it. I'm going to add in the potatoes next. You want to just dig them into the masoor so it gets nicely coated as well. Adding in the eggs next. Okay, let's grab the rice. So we're going to top it with some fried onions, sprinkled on the top, and some butter. Lastly, I'm gonna add in a little bit of water, just to help it steam. So we just need to Tightly cover the pot with a bit of foil. So this steams for 15 minutes on high heat on the stove and then in the oven on 180 for one and a half hours. 
So while the biryani is in the oven, I'm going to start on the saucy chicken. I've cleaned and just cut up the chicken into pieces so it's easy to use. And we'll start off by marinating the chicken with all the different spices. So to begin, I'm going to add in the mayonnaise. Make sure you're using a nice creamy mayonnaise because it just adds to the texture of the chicken and it'll just make it a lot more saucier and tastier. Then we will add in the tomato puree and we'll just add in a teaspoon of the salt, some freshly ground garlic. Garlic is always best when it's freshly ground. Two teaspoons of chili powder and two teaspoons of lemon pepper and then just freshly squeezed lemon juice. We're then going to mix it all through so it's nicely incorporated. I prefer to use my hands so that it just works much better for me. This is just looking really, really nice. But I'll have to taste it to check that my seasoning is all correct. Now we're just going to taste the marinade. Perfect. Let's put it on the heat. So let me get my butter and a bit of the oil as well. So I want to gently lay the chicken pieces on. We're just gonna allow the chicken to cook through slowly. I'm just turning the pieces around. With chicken, it cooks really fast. So you don't wanna really cook your chicken too early before you serve. So this is looking really good. I'm just going to add in the balance of my sauce and let that cook through. So that's looking good and I'm ready to plate. I'm just gonna accumulate all the sauce and top the chicken with it because this is where all the flavor of the chicken is in and it just makes it extra special. Garnishing it with a bit of fresh coriander. I'm also topping it with a little bit of toasted sesame seeds. So just a little pinch of that, drizzled over. So the chicken's ready. I'm just gonna take it through to the table. For our sweet dish, we're going to be making a soji with a twist. Let's put our heat on, add in the butter. You must ensure that your butter is three quarter way melted before you add in your semolina. Let's add in our semolina and the carrot. You need to braise the carrots with the soji till you get a lovely aroma. You need to be quick with this also. You can see it is braising really nicely. So this is ready. Now it's time to add in our milk. egg and sugar, a pinch of ilachi and some colouring. You have to mix this really gently because this is a very slow cooking process. Reduce your heat to medium heat when you're adding your items in and then you can increase it a tad bit so it thickens. This is lovely and thick. I love the specks of carrot in here. Um, I think the colouring also blends well with the carrot. This is ready and I'm going to plate it. So to finish, I'm going to add in some cream, pistachio and some pomegranates. And that's ready. Our delicious Eid lunch is ready for the family. And we wish all of you a joyous day of Eid. Ready to enjoy a choice of two hearty dishes with a sweet finish to the feast.